Well, thank you for watching this video. This video is brought to you by NewQBO.com. So here's our website, NewQBO.com. QuickBooks Tutorials and Training Blog. So check it out. So this video, I'm going to focus on how do you match a deposit to a receipt when the credit card refund is more than actual deposit. You know, you have credit card sales and uh, that day, to, you know, um, you have more uh, credit card refund but than your actual sales. Uh, so you have a negative uh, deposit to your bank account. So basically, in your bank account, instead of deposit, uh, the bank is, uh, your merchant is withdrawing money from your bank account. So how to handle that in QuickBooks Online? So that's the focus of this video. Okay, so for this video, I'm just going to use uh, QuickBooks Test Drive file. Okay, so here's our website. Just click that test drive, and uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. And if you want to sign up for a QuickBooks 30-day trial, we have a banner in here for USA, uh, Canada, and UK. We are international uh, website in here. So this one, uh, QuickBooks Online test drive. I'm going to use USA, but uh, you know, if you are from Canada, UK, Australia, India, or Singapore, you can check it out the test drive whenever you need it. Uh, it's a good way to learn, and uh, don't you don't want to mess up your uh, uh, live file. So I'm going to use this. So uh, I just need to enter a security verification code. And this will change every time you try to log in with the demo file. Okay, so now uh, let's go to the banking center here. I gotta find uh, uh, switch to checking account. I gotta find one transaction in here for this uh, uh, demo. Uh, okay, let's say the 666 is a negative credit card sales that day okay uh, let's ignore the description in here so let's say this is 666 and negative and you had let's say two sales one is one thousand dollars credit card refund and the other one is actual sales credit card sales for let's say about three hundred uh, thirty four dollars and it happened on 09 15 2015 so normally you uh, you know create a refund receipt for that thousand dollars Say so is a customer, and this is on 9 15 2015 or less, doesn't matter. Let's say this is 9 15 2015, and you send it to a depositor funds whenever we have credit cards, multiple credit card, batch deposit. Okay, let's say the visa re uh, re uh, refund and services. And say so this is for thousand. Okay, and I'm going to close this. And your next one is uh, actual sales receipt for $334. Okay, so the sales services for $334. So ne negative uh, is uh, net between those two is still negative six hundred sixty-six dollars. So when you go to uh, transfer from uh, to go to bank deposit and transfer from undeposited funds to your bank account, let's see what happens in here. You know, I said nine fifteen. Okay, so try to uh, use this. So it will say the uh, error in here. You must specify a negative amount that is zero or greater so if it's a negative you don't want to take it uh, to bank deposit in here so that's the problem okay so what you need to do at this point is you need to create a zone entry you need to create a zone entry let's say same date and uh, your checking account bank account is negative credit is because uh, it's taking money out of your bank account so whenever uh, if Money coming out from your bank account is credit. Whenever it's money coming out, coming in as a deposit to your bank account is a debit. 
So uh, the other side of this is under positive funds is 666 is a negative one. Okay, so this and save and close. Okay, so now if I go to bank deposit and transfer uh, uh, undeposited funds transactions in here, this one and this one and that one, now it's zero and 9 15 2015 is uh, uh, your transaction posting date. So now if you close this, it will accept. Okay, so now I'm on uh, Banking Center, Bank Beats, and now I want to match it. Okay, so to match it in here, uh, it's still not showing match in here. Uh, so ignore this, the description here. You know, this is the negative uh, uh, deposit in here. Okay, so what you have to do at this point is, since there's no match sign, is the radio button add switch to find match and this new match transaction screen will open and if you have a whole bunch of transactions you know it could be a couple of pages so the one I want is July I mean September 15 I'm gonna switch to September 15 right okay see right here 666 all at this point all you have to do is 666 that's a match 666 is a match now and then save it okay so now basically uh, if you look at it here it's not uh, for review so it's uh, it moved from for review downloaded transaction to in QuickBooks now it's in register it's in your check register or bank register now it's right here see okay so that's how you have to match it so if you go to uh, register you will see that 666 as a negative it's on 915 there you go 666 right although you will see it's zero you can just ignore that one so uh, 666 is as payment but also as journal entry uh, rather than deposit. That's okay. That's the only way you can handle this in QuickBooks. So that's how you have to do it. I uh, hope this video helped you. Uh, always visit our website, newqbr.com, QuickBooks tutorials and training blog. Thank you for watching. Bye.